client, Igor client. Just tell him that I'm here. He will want to see me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid you can't see Mr. McHunter without an appointment. It's a personal business. Don't wear your pretty little hat about it, <laughs> darling. Call it in. He won't say no. Uh, there's a gentleman here without an appointment, Mr. McHunter. Should I send him home? Uh, yes, his name is Mr. Client. Igor Client. Fine, go on in. Well, fancy seeing you here, Igor. Trust me. I wouldn't be caught dead in this place if I had any other choice. Just say what he wants. It's Anton. Anton is missing. It's been days already. It's not like him. You, remember. He just went out one evening. He said he has a meeting or something. I don't know. I called the police, but you and I both know they're useless. And I don't need to tell you that I don't like being here. And I know you don't like to see me as well, but it doesn't matter. It's for Anton. You probably have nothing better to do anyway. I will show myself up. Igor must be real shook up for him to come see me. We were friends once. Real good friends, and Anton too. I don't like to think about what happened. I haven't seen him in years. He must be real worried if he came here, asking for my help and all. I'm heading out to the city, Nastya. What was that all about? Don't worry about it, just an old friend. I don't know when I'll be back, so just don't wait up. Goodbye, Mr. McHunter.
Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well, that was a waste of time. I was disappointed. The bar was my best lead. I should have taken it slower with that strange fella. Didn't get anything out of him I didn't know already. And I was starting to get real worried about Anton. I didn't have much, but I had the feeling that Igor might have overlooked something. I figured I would visit him in the afternoon. And the guy in the dark room bothered me. I kept thinking about him. There was something on my mind. Something about him. The bracelet, maybe. I had this feeling, this hunch, that I had seen that bracelet of his before. Any news? Actually, you managed to do something useful? Igor, I got a few questions. Well, I got questions of my own. I asked you, any news? Any suspects? Look, just work with me here for a moment. All I want to know is, did you hear that Anton had picked up new friends at the old bar? Yeah, Anton mentioned something sometime. He was very busy at last couple of weeks. Actually, I didn't talk with him as much as I should have. And any idea who they were? These new friends, I mean. No, no. I never met them. But what I heard from Anton, they were a curious bunch. Actually, Anton started to be curious to anxious and erratic, you know? Oh, have you heard of this new cult? No, should I? Yeah, it was in the daily this morning. Uh, too busy not having clients to read the papers? Just give it here. Here it is. Mysterious cult gathering in town, said the headline. Rumors, a brainy photo of brainwashed, blindfolded followers. Now I could see why Igor was so scared. It was enough to send shivers down even my steely spine. And there, the cult's little marker. I'd seen that symbol before. I knew he'd been odd, that guy in the bar. That snaky thing around his arm. That bracelet. Now everything clicked into place. Anton wasn't missing. He'd been kidnapped by a cult. Evening, Nastya. How are you, doll? You didn't come back to the office. I was getting worried. Don't be. Really, I'm just on my way home right now. Why don't you take the evening off and do something nice for yourself? You sound worried. Is it the kidnapping? Don't beat yourself up over it, okay? Thank you, but really, I'm fine. Just a long day. All right, Mr. McHunter. Good night. I felt my stomach sinking. Sinking so low it was hitting my knees. I'd never told her anything about the case. She couldn't know, but she did. Somehow she knew Anton had been kidnapped. And then it hit me, and I might as well have been hit in the face with a brick. That symbol in the paper, the bracelet on the fella in the bar, They'd seemed familiar all the time, and now I knew why. I'd seen her, Nastya, wearing it first. I knew I had to get back to the office fast. There was no time to lose. I tried to believe it was just a coincidence. But you don't last long in this business without listening to your gut. And my gut was screaming at me that something was off. I tried to believe I wouldn't find anything. But I knew, even before I opened that drawer, my trust in Nastya was instantly shattered. Wiped away by all the truth she'd hidden. She'd known all along. The answer to the mystery had been right there, under my nose, in my very office. There in her diary, I found out the truth. Anton had been kidnapped by the cult, and they were going to sacrifice him in some unholy ritual. But damn her. I still didn't know where or when. Why cry now, Nastya, after all you've done? I never meant to. I never meant to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean what, Nastya? Meant what? I begged them. I begged them not to hurt Anton. They gave me no choice. That's what they all say. I've been in this business long enough to know that. Look, Mr. McCunter, Steve, they told me, they said, they gave me no choice. They said, they... They said, said what? They said that if I told anyone, they'd hurt you. They said they'd kill you. I can handle myself. I can handle danger. I wouldn't do this job if I couldn't. You know that. 
You don't understand. I can't live without you. I love you. The ritual is starting soon. Steve, we still have time. We can make it. We can save Antoine.